sorry, he said I could stay <laughs> Hello everybody! Hey! Brilliant! Welcome back to those. Just, just by show of hands, who are here for the first time? Whose first gathering is this? Oh, wonderful! Wonderful! And who's come back for a second or third time? Wonderful. And who's seventh visit is it? There they are, in the middle there. Every year. Welcome back. Lovely to see you. So, yeah, my name's Seth Stephen. I'm the uh, sales director for Highland Titles. And I just want to welcome everybody. Thank you so much for taking the trouble to come up and visit us for this uh, three-day event, which uh, I promise you, you are going to enjoy. So, here we go. Wildcats. <laughs> I'm now going to tell you what I'm not sure it is. I'm going to tell you all about wildcats. Caring for the land has inevitably progressed to caring for wildlife, and endangered species has become something of a priority for us here at Highland Titles. To date, we have built three enclosures for the endangered Scottish wildcat. Although very elusive, we have three wildcats visiting us here right now. All three were abandoned as kittens, and as soon as they are ready to be reintroduced to the wild, they will go back where they belong. Wildcats belong out in the wild, not in a cage. These enclosures are all around an acre in size, which is a huge space for our cats. All three have been purpose-built within the land here at Dura Reserve. The support of our customers is helping us to ensure the survival of arguably the most endangered animal on the planet, the Scottish wildcat. So let me tell you a story of a three-day the 29th of June last year, we got a brother and sister kittens rescued. And this is their first day, this is their release at Dura. Um, I actually feel quite privileged to have been involved in the project. Um, it's a fair bet that nobody in the room will have seen a Scottish wildcat in the wild. You might have been to a zoo, you might have been told you've seen one, you might not. It was probably a hybridized version. I want me to do it. There's 52 zeros, 54. Shouldn't count at the end, but I don't think what time. I'm going to put the rubber band on the deck. And the reason I do that is uh, I'm going to pass these out into the audience. When I do that, I'd like to uh, take the cards, if you get them, that is, and uh, open the deck up and just remember a playing card inside. We'll do this three or four times. Uh, the reason the band's on there is so they don't fall all over the floor, all right? So if you do get them, don't take the rubber band off, otherwise it's 52 card pickup. And I don't think we have time for that game. All right, so since you were so kind to help out, no, no, what's your, what's your name, sir? John. John, all you have to do, John, is take those deck of cards. Don't take the rubber band off. I'll look this way, John. Just break the deck open anywhere you want. Remember one card inside, just one card, John. You done that? Yeah. Excellent, John. Thank you so much for helping out. Thank you. But it's very important, John, that you remember the cards, otherwise the end of the trick is not quite as good. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Michael. Michael, could you also do the same? Just uh, break the deck open, have a peek inside, remember one card for me. Thank you, Michael. Excellent. The lady here, what's your name? Anka. Anka, could you, uh, you know the cards, Anka, in English, yes? Yes. Yeah, excellent. Could you just break them open and remember one card inside, Anka? Again, I'll look this way just so there's no cheating going on. Happy with yeah, that? Yeah. And we'll do one last one. The gentleman here in the glasses, what's your name, sir? Yeah. 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 Could you uh, break the deck open and remember one card inside? Excellent. Thank you so much. So we have four. Is that four people? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Usually I do three, but we're going to try four. I don't feel lucky enough to do that. We'll do four. We'll do four. Okay. Um, persons that just looked at a card, would you be kind enough just to stand up for a moment? Just for a moment. I'm not going to ask you to come up right like that. Just so that I can look into your eyes and into your souls. <laughs> wow, that's pretty terrifying. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay, this is difficult. We'll try and just clear your minds and remember only the card that you just looked at, okay? Just think of your card. Okay. Yes. Perfect, just think of your card. 
Your cards. And your cards. Nothing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Um, not everything will work 100% tonight, but I'm fairly confident I've got this. So just listen carefully. I'm going to try and do this. Um, four of spades, seven of diamonds, nine of hearts, and, and the queen of clubs. If I just said your cards, could you sit down, please? No. Four of spades, seven of diamonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yours, yeah? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, wait. Yours is a black card? A spade? Yeah. Just think of the number. Me? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Give her my I don't know if you can see the changes that have come over me. In these last few days, I've been afraid that I might drift away. So I've been telling old stories, singing songs that make me think about where I came from. That's the reasons why I seem so far away today. Oh, let me tell you that I love you. I think about you all the time Caledonia, you're calling me Now I'm going home If I should become a stranger You know that it would make me more than a sign Caledonia's been everything I've ever had Oh, and I have moved on moving through the points that needed proving, lost the friends that I needed losing, found others on the way. Oh, and I have tried and kept on trying, stolen dreams, just there's no denying I can travel hard with conscience lying somewhere with.
hard to example, I have these trip. And likewise with the Rubik's Cube, I actually have a favorite combination. Um, so if you were just going to the menu here, you see that there's a section of the Rubik's. Just a little bit here, it tells you about the, you know, the Arnold Rubik invented the Rubik's Cube. But then on the bottom here it says, this is my favorite combination. And there's actually a picture on my website of my favorite combination the Rubik's Cube can have. And uh, I'm going to show you guys hopefully once it loads up, of course. Is that, is that, uh, is Actually on your website. So, I mean, you're, you're welcome to take a picture of the cube and then six weeks 